in this QuickBooks Online training course. We're going to cover how to enter credit card returns in QuickBooks Online. To follow along with me, log into your QuickBooks Online account now or click the link below for a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online. You can also click this link to access our full QuickBooks Online course and other helpful resources. Let's get started. When you purchase items using your business credit card, you may need to return something because it was damaged or it just didn't work out. The vendor will usually process the return using the same credit card that you used to make the purchase. When this credit shows up on your credit card statement, you need to be sure that it is flagged as a credit card return and it is coded to the same account you coded the original purchase to. In this lesson, we will walk you through step-by-step -step how to correctly enter from the home page, click on the gear icon located to the left of your company name and select chart of accounts. Click here to watch the video tutorial on how to set up the chart of accounts. Go ahead and scroll down to the credit card register that you want to go ahead and display. Click on the view register link to the far right. And here is our credit card register. From the drop down, you want to go ahead and select CC Credit. And this first field is our date. And we want to enter the date that you returned the product in this field. The next field, reference number and type. Here, this field is optional. I do recommend that you put credit in this field. Um, and then uh, below the reference number field, the transaction type is automatically populated with the transaction type you just previously selected, CC credit. If we tab over, we want to go ahead and select the vendor that we returned the product to in the payee field. In the memo field, you want to include any additional information about the return. So for example, here we've got return damaged product. In the payment field, you want to enter the cost of the item that was returned. And in the account field, you want to select the account that the credit should be categorized to. It is best practice to use the same account that you categorized the original purchase to for the credit return. After you've completed all of the fields, be sure to save your work. If you need to edit a credit card return that was previously entered, you can easily do so. From this screen, if we wanted to go ahead and edit the transaction that we just entered, we would simply click anywhere within the transaction and it would activate it and allow us to make any changes that we wanted to to any of these fields. Again, once you make your changes, don't forget to save. Refer to the step-by-step -step written lesson to learn more about how your accounts and financial statements are affected when a credit card return is recorded in QuickBooks. That wraps up the lesson on how to enter credit card returns in QuickBooks Online. To access our full QuickBooks Online course or any of the other lessons in this series, click this link. You can also find a link below this video for a free 30-day trial of QuickBooks Online. If you have feedback about this course or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe.